how to make a fluidic connection for your GPC SEC instrument. Throughout your GPC instrument system, there are various fluidic connections that join one component to another, such as the column set, the post column filter, and the detectors, to name a few. Most of these connections utilize a nut and ferrule fitting on the end of a piece of tubing that secures into a specifically shaped socket to minimize dead volume. It is important to know how to create these fittings so you can install different column sets, configure instrument components, or optimize the amount of tubing in use. This video will demonstrate how to make one of these fittings using a stainless steel nut and a stainless steel ferrule on the end of a piece of Teflon tubing. The nuts and ferrules are available from the Malvern Panalytical online store and can be located by searching for the names and part numbers listed here. The tools required for this procedure include a stainless steel nut, a stainless steel ferrule, a piece of 1 16th inch Teflon tubing, an extra connection piece to seat the fitting, in this case it's a union but you can use other pieces including a column, and two wrenches. First, place the nut on the piece of tubing with the threads closer to the end on which the fitting will be created. The nut should be able to slide easily onto the tubing and be able to rotate freely around it. Second, place the ferrule on the tubing so that the wide end is closer to the threads of the nut and the narrow side is closer to the end of the tubing. Third, guide the tubing into the extra connection piece. While applying pressure to keep the tubing in place, push the ferrule and nut into the socket and hand tighten. Next, use the wrenches to tighten the nut into the extra connection piece. It is important to ensure that the tubing does not slide out during this process. Once tight, gently tug on the tubing to be sure that it is being held in place. Last, use the wrenches to loosen the nut from the connection piece. When it's removed, the ferrules should now be crimped onto the end of the piece of tubing, while the nut should still be loose enough to slide up and down and rotate around the tubing. Congratulations! You've created a fitting that will allow you to add to and optimize your GPC-SEC system. Mm -hmm.